everyone. Welcome to Royal Mystic Collective Wisdom, and I am your host, Royal Mystic. And we have covered chakras and specific things about chakras, and I'm going to branch out into another aspect of chakras and sound. So there are sacred sound frequencies called soul for. Fagio or solfagio, I don't know which is correct, um, so I'm going to say them both. <laughs> the It is S-O-L, F as in Frank, Edward as in E as in Edward, G-G as in George George, I-O as in igloo, is it igloo spelled with an I? I'm not even sure. <laughs> igloo and Oscar, I don't know. Um, so... Solfagio in the two G's. It is the frequency of sound that is the sacred harmony. Now, in our chakras, we have chakra frequencies that are the sounds that are connected to that chakra that are the actual, uh, just the regular old hertz. Okay, so the crown chakra is 768 hertz. The third eye is 720 hertz. The throat is 672 hertz. And the heart is 594 hertz. Solar plexus is 528. Sacral chakra is 480. And your root chakra is 432 hertz. Now, those are just your chakra frequencies. The aligning solfagio frequencies are just a little different. And they start with the crown being at a much higher residency. So remember, the standard chakra frequency is 768. And in this particular energy, it goes to 963. I found it interesting that they're different as a solfagio frequency or a sacred frequency. Now, the difference is it causes specific things to happen in the frequency. So you have your healthy frequency where your heart, where your heart or your third eye are aligned. <clears throat> then you have the alignment to the sacred, which is the energy of being in the like amplified energy. So having that energy available to you and an understanding that resonating on these different frequencies is important. So if my throat chakra is not quite functioning the way, you know, I feel like there's a block. And my standard throat chakra frequency is 672. I'm going to need to add a little extra something to it to bring it to the, to a, to, you know, bring that higher resonancy in to heal it. And that would be 741 hertz. You see what I'm saying? So it changes from 672 to the healing energy of 742. So uh, I could go on about this forever and and that that would drive you insane and me too. So let's talk about two. There are two frequencies in the sophagio frequency that don't attach to any chakras. They, They cover your entire body. And the first one is 174 hertz. And it is an energy of your body being safe and secure It also relieves physical pain, such as back pain, foot pain, leg pain, migraine, and stress. It allows you to completely have an an anesthetic feeling or an anesthetic effect to whatever is ailing you in your entire body. So when you look at these frequencies, they are the frequencies of all color, So that's what white light is, right? It's all colors combined make white light. And that's exactly how this frequency works. So it is a deeper connection to spirit. It enhances your senses. And these specific uh, sound frequencies literally do heal you. So it doesn't have any particular color or sound. So I don't have a sound to make to emulate this frequency. It is a frequency that can be made through, you know, musical instruments and things like that. But there's no audible word or Sanskrit 
language that I'm aware of that you can say. But this energy, when you play it on, you can find uh, healing energies. I have, um, let's see, meditative mind comes to mind. That's one of the ones that I trust. Um, I have a playlist on my YouTube channel that has the frequencies and different ones. I, I have a whole bunch of them uploaded from different different uh, channels that just play this kind of music. So it's beautiful music because it sounds like background spa music, and it's literally vibrating a frequency tone that's happening under the under the music or with the music, and it brings this energy about that that does bring the healing. So for pain management and and things like that, this would be something you could play in your headphones, you know, as you're going to sleep or while you're sleeping. You could play it over your speakers. You can play it in your office. Nobody's going to know what you're playing because it sounds like spa music. So while you're sitting there at work, you can be playing this music. So it does have uh, intense healing properties to be able to do this. And it works by releasing physical pain and also releases negative karmic holds and energies that may reside within your field. So within your auric field, you can release negativity and things like that or old wounds in the energy of this sound of 174 hertz. So chronic stress is one of those things that comes about from just a life of of uh, ups and downs and and not knowing how to flush the energy out. We you know, this is all new to me too, so don't feel like you're if your brain is smoking. <laughs> so was mine when I was getting this ready, so don't feel bad. So the the energy of the sound can help us in a place where we can't there's no pill that can bring our our vibrational frequencies into alignment. And being able to be in the energy, literally pulsating and, and using your physical body as an instrument to harmonize it, I mean, how much better could that be? That's the easiest way to do something is to allow it just to absorb. So to help relieve any pain at to listen to this tone you would sit down in a quiet place and allow yourself to absorb the frequency into your cellular level sending loving and positive thoughts um, allow yourself to visualize the pain floating away in a bubble letting go of it and never never you know just just see observe the pain see the pain be contained in like a soap bubble and watch it drift away and let it drift away. If you have to, make the bubble yourself, you know, in your mind. Make the bubble yourself and, and like, blow it. Just release it and blow it so it'll it'll just drift off. When you allow yourself to release it repeatedly like that, the only way that you'll... <laughs> and I've done this a million times to myself. This is the hardest part. To not do when you're when you first learn how to do this, they immediately go, "Oh, does it still hurt?" <laughs> and that's not that's not the part we want to confirm. <laughs> so one technique that I learned that was really good if if you're if you have this kind of thing. So say you have a knee or an elbow or a shoulder or a foot, whatever you have two of, right? Even on your head, you can have one side of your head and the other side of your head. So understanding that. By focusing on the side that is not experiencing the pain long enough, you'll fool the side that is experiencing the pain into believing it's in perfect health because you're only focusing on the perfect state of the of the side that has no pain. It does work. I have done it. So I hope that helps you with something. And um, we all experience it differently. Pain is one of those things where some people have a higher threshold than others. And to be able to um, do this for yourself and use the sound to help you reset um, seems to me like such a, you know, no brainer. I don't know why uh, it's not more, you know, touted as a, as a healing modality. However, you know, there are certain things that it would, it would uh, put other folks out of business 
who make those little pills that we take, right? So understand that if you allow yourself to move um, in the energy and allow yourself to receive the healing energy of it and, and, and just be in a place of releasing pain, if you've had some kind of surgery, see that that place just healing and fully healing and fully fully healed with no scar and no you know see it as it as it was before or as you can imagine it now with the best possible outcome allow yourself to journal keeping track you know always i always recommend writing free writing is the best thing in the whole wide world if you've never heard of free writing you can use it for anything It is the ability to sit down and just close your eyes or turn your head away from the page, moving your hand, rocking it top to bottom as though you're beginning to scrabble or scribble on a page, but the pen is not touching the page yet. And when you drop the pen down on the page, do not look at anything that's being written. Allow yourself just to keep going no no matter where the lines are on the paper. You could write in a circle. You could write it backwards and upside down. It doesn't matter. Allow yourself to go, you know, out of the boundaries. This is not a boundary thing. So allow yourself just to keep going until you don't have anything else to write and do not judge anything, any thought that's coming in your mind. Just stay with it and let yourself finish it all out. Um, That is a beautiful energy. And sometimes you will get an actual message for yourself at that moment that you had no way of getting any other ways. Just being open and letting yourself communicate with divine and, and, your higher self will speak to you through this particular practice. So when you are in a place of now going back and looking at what you've written, understand that it's being written for a reason because you you had no prior cognitive thought about what you were going to write, so now we're just letting it form naturally. And that's what helps with the frequency alignment is it sort of provokes the the connection and solidifies your ability to really transmit the energy and information to yourself. So allow yourself to be in a place where you are fully open and non-judgmental as to what you write. Sometimes it's a past thing that we've buried. I that I had that experience myself. That's something I had completely blocked out of my mind that happened in childhood. And all of that stuff has to come out some way. So better that it come out on the page like that than you have to enact something and have a karmic, you know, a real karmic thing. So the second frequency for optimal health and well-being is the... Energy of 285 hertz, Sophageo frequency 285. It is a, an energy of really feeling the Zen, okay? So being, being in that monk-like mind. This one is, um, it's, it's an honoring of yourself and, and your body as a spiritual temple. And it allows you to enhance the energy of being connected to your beautiful energy of the blueprint of what is still to be for you. Because we're an ever-growing, ever-changing being. And there is more to come. There's more to learn. There's more to live. And on the cellular level, allowing yourself to be in that place of empowerment, knowing that you have all capabilities to live at any capacity that you choose. So this is the the optimal health that comes with that and being in alignment with your spiritual energy. It is a healing of the whole from, from cells to, you know, cell, skin tissue to bone tissue to um, allowing your DNA to reset to its original frequency, to its highest frequency. And it creates a reverberation through all fields. So it allows you to feel that connection to your inner 
source where you feel the peace and the unity of all, the all, the great all. And being in the energy of allowing yourself to understand that you were a soul before you incarnated here on this planet. So when you realize that, then you understand that there was a divine being in in presence before you became human, which means if that divine being is in presence, it is in divine health. And therefore, connecting the two brings you to your highest health. Does that make sense? I hope. (laughs) And allow yourself to really sit every day in the energy of 174 and 258 will bring you to a place where you feel very much in the respect, I guess that's a word for this, respecting your your sacredness. Mm, how about that? And releasing um, the energy of fear and being in the experience of allowing yourself to feel a, a kindredness to sound and allowing yourself to understand that that is a true healing energy. It is not a fluke. It is not a hoax. Um, The energy will bring you into a place where you feel more connected to your higher self. And it will allow you to let go of the fear of the everyday mundane things, financial fears, things like that. As you allow yourself to connect to that higher frequency and begin to be in a higher vibration the low vibrational frequencies of illness and disease and fear and shame, making decisions uh, reactory rather than using them to with intention and focus. This, these frequencies will help to reset these for you. And they are for the entire body head to toe. And they're the only ones that don't have a single chakra connection. They're connected to all. So they're really good for alignment and optimal health and feeling a, a feeling of well-being as well as actually well-being. So I hope that this was not too uh, dense <laughs> in all the numbers. I promise you the next one won't be so bad. It's it's more more um, each one of the the next frequencies will be more about the focus of the chakra. And they actually have an audible sound that you make with them. So we'll talk more about that and why it's important to make the sound rather than just sit, sitting and in, you know, sitting in the sound. So I hope you all have a beautiful day. Thank you for being here. And uh, I hope I didn't get too, too mired down in the facts. I know sometimes um, I, I feel awkward when I, when I'm, doing facts and talking through my spiritual voice. So uh, I hope I was able to convey the message that I intended to. Many blessings to you all. I send you away with love, light, healing, abundance, peace, joy, happiness, prosperity, and much love to all of you. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next Sunday. Namaste, my friends.